you doing? Nope. My name's not Earl. I'm the lawnmower lady, and I like fixing small engines. Today's short video is one in a series of basic maintenance routines on a Briggs & Stratton E-Series engine. This video is going to be how to change oil. Follow along. On this particular mower, the oil filler cap is this little guy right here, and if it doesn't come off easily, okay, you can also put a screwdriver in there, very lightly, to help it untwist, and then that's how you remove this oil cap. All right, so we'll be checking this oil, and um, yeah, it's kind of dirty. We change it out anyway, um, and I think it's overfilled in these particular machines, you do need to screw it all the way in and out, and then, um, yeah, it's hard to see, but it's uh, over the fill line. All right, so we're going to flip this little guy over and hope we don't spill too much. That's why I got this uh, metal uh, sheet down here. It's got over, and then... Oh yeah, oil is actually uh, pouring out of the front of the unit, so I think it's just overfilled. So someone much wiser than me said it's better to have the right amount of the wrong oil than the wrong amount of the right oil. I've always taken that to heart, so I always use an older container, it's got a wider mouth, so it's easier to fill up. And I have a mark on here for 20 ounces. Most of these mowers, smaller engines, take about 20 ounces. And you want to check your owner's manual, but that's where I start. Use a funnel and pour it in. Got to go kind of slow sometimes so it doesn't overflow. 20 ounces in. The residual that stays in the engine will usually cover whatever additional I need. All right, so there we go. Let that drain in. Screw in the dipstick. Check our oil level. On these particular mowers, you do need to screw the dipstick all the way in. On Honda mowers, you do not. All right, screw it in. I'm going to pull it out, and you want to see the oil, and it's really, really hard to see because it's so clean, but it is just at the arrow. I know it's hard to see. show you again. Screw it in, pull it out. And you're just looking for a little shiny part there. It's just at the point of the arrow. So that's a good amount. Make sure that's snug, not too tight, but you don't want it to fly off. All right, so there you have it. That's how I changed the oil on a Briggs & Stratton E-Series engine. If you learned something, please push the like and subscribe button, and I can make more of these videos. Remember, I'm the lawnmower lady, and as I like to say, mo happy. Thanks for watching.